Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. <clears throat> All glories to Shaprapan. In this video, we will be presenting new found evidences that the Ridvik system of initiation is what Shaprapad wanted. First of all, if you have not heard or read the documental proof of the Ridvik system, please I will put a link in the description below to a short video where you can hear the May 28th conversation and read the July 9th letter. Also, if you want more information, I will put a link to our video, Ridvik, a bona fide system, which explains very clearly why Shepropad wanted this Ridvik system of initiation. And I will also put a link to our position paper, Initiation after 1977, that we have in many different languages. All this in the description below. So what I'm about to show you now, I have never heard any devotee point that out. I have never read it in any articles or I have never seen it in any videos pertaining to this subject. So I'm not claiming that this is a first discovery because I did not read everything on the net. But as far as I'm concerned, I've never heard any devotee show that out. Now, before we show that new piece of evidence, we will have to read in the same conversation which is uh, a bit prior to what I'll be showing you later on, that piece of conversation is famous. It has been heard many times, but we have to go through it first. So here we go. Oh, that kind of point is there. I don't know. I that. I heard that. producing some less than Well, I have studied myself and all of your disciples and I, it's clear fact that we're all conditioned souls, so we cannot be glued. Maybe one day it may be possible, but not now. Yes. Okay, so you see here, Tamal Krishna Goswami is saying that I've studied myself and all your disciples and it's a clear fact that we're all conditioned souls. Therefore, we cannot be glued. In other words, he's acknowledging that he and all his God brothers are conditioned soul and that this makes them disqualified at taking the position of a Diksha Guru. And Prabhupada confirms. Therefore, a devotee who is not liberated, who is still a conditioned soul, cannot act as Diksha Guru. This is very clear and this is concurred in uh, so many places in Shah Prabhupada's books, okay? So let's go on. Not now. Yes. I can do it. Now I do it. I can say, now we don't have time. We don't have time. I am waiting for it. We don't have all our time. I retire completely. But the training must be complete. Process of purification. Oh, has yeah. to be there. I don't know how Guru wants it. How I read that Guru is there. Become Guru. But be quiet. Let them change. Stick to follow. Not rubber stamp. So here, Shaprabhupad quotes the famous verse Amara Gyanu Guru Hanya. So, yes. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu want all of us to become Guru. The term Guru can equally be applied to Diksha Guru or Shiksha Guru. So that verse that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has spoken is to say, yes, you become Diksha Guru or you become Shiksha Guru, but become Guru and preach, you see. And then Tamal Krishna says, no rubber, st no, no rubber stamp. And then Prabhupada continues. Let's hear. Then it will not be effective. You can cheat, but it will not be effective. So if you do not reach the platform of a pure devotee, a liberated, a Brahma Buddha personality, Prabhupada says you will not be effective. He said you can cheat, but it will not be effective. So that is a famous uh, piece of conversation. Tamal Krishna Goswami and all his God brothers were conditioned souls. So how is it that only a few months later, this is April 22nd, Shaprabhupada left his body in November 14th, 1977. Seven months later, do you think that 11 disciples could have attained the position of Mahabhagavata? Seven months? Eleven of them? Ah, why would Prabhupada here say that it is a disqualification to become Diksha Guru, to be a conditioned soul? And he has confirmed that they are all conditioned soul. 
and why would he have written all of their names and then automatically after his departure they would become Diksha Guru. So in the July 9th letter Prabhupada has appointed them as Ridvik only. He never said that when I leave this planet, when I leave this body, then you all become automatically Diksha Gurus. He never said like that, but they took it. Now we come to the new piece of evidence. Later on in this conversation, now please listen carefully to what Shaprapad is saying here. Sit to our principle and see our Jesus. The very alert. Then everything is gone. Even I am not present. Do that. That is my request. Whatever I left you, I have taught you to follow that. Nobody will be able to. No my I will touch. Okay, so you see, we're coming to it, but first let, let's hear this, what Prabhupada said just now. So stick to our principle, okay? And see the GBC is very alert. Then everything will go on, even I'm not present. So Prabhupada is starting here. Even I'm not present, do that. That is my request. Whatever little I have taught you, follow that, and nobody will be aggrieved. Let's continue. Now Krishna is getting back. There is no scarcity of money to print both and sell. Everything is there. So everything is there. Shri Prabhupada said earlier in the conversation, he said, yes, you're all conditioned souls. You cannot be guru. And then he says, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for you to become. But he's saying here, everything is there. At that time, the Ridvik system was already in place. The only thing that Shri Prabhupada kept uh, still in April was the giving of the names. Otherwise, everything else, all initiations in ISKCON were going on through the Ridvik system and Prabhupada was choosing the name. The name giving he gave on July 9th. I mean, he authorized it with the July 9th letter. You see, so Prabhupada is saying, you just go on and now it gets even more. Listen. Even if I die suddenly, he'll be able to manage it. That I want. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? Even if I die suddenly, you'll be able to manage. That's all. That's that I want. Just think carefully. Prabhupada just now he said, Yes, you're a conditioned soul. All your God brothers are conditioned soul. Therefore you cannot be guru. But even if I die immediately, what does that mean? That means even if Prabhupada at that moment he's talking now, he decides to close down his Leela and leave the material world, even then you can continue. How? Prabhupada is saying you're all conditioned so you cannot be Diksha Guru. He's saying no rubber stamp, you must meet the qualifications. And he said you are not qualified, but even if I die now you can continue. How? The Ridvik system that was in place could be continued. So that shows that Shepra Upad, even as early as April 22nd, already had planned to continue the Ridvik system. Let's listen again. Even if I die suddenly, he'll be able to manage it. That I want. You see, even if I die suddenly, so that is a proof. Yes, you, Tamal Krishna Goswami, you're a conditioned soul and all your God brothers, therefore you cannot be Diksha Guru because you have not met the qualification of Uttama Adhikari and even if I die now, you can continue. Does that mean that you all become rubber stamp Diksha Guru? No, Prabhupada said it. You can do rubber stamp if you want, but that will not act. Therefore, it is a clear indication that Shri Prabhupada wanted the Ridvik system to continue. Let's hear to the rest of it. Man is nice, like the moment go forward from us. Don't go backward. Be careful. So just see what Prabhupada is quoting here. First of all, you behave yourself as the perfect man. In other words, he's telling them first, if you want to become Guru, you become perfect. He's finishing on that point. So this is another clear evidence, is it not? Prabhupada is saying, even if I die immediately, he's trying to save Tamal Krishna Goswami from this disease of wanting to become Guru. Even if I die immediately, you can go on. 
Go on means you just carry on doing what you're doing, which is the Ritvik system of initiation. You can manage, you just bring everybody to Prabhupada and all of you GPC member act as Shiksha Guru. That's all. So this is the new piece of evidence. I, maybe other devotees have found it, but I wanted to share it with you. This simply strengthens our faith that we are on the proper way. We are accepting Shita Prabhupada's instructions and carry on with um, the Ritvik system of initiation and we can feel it in our lives, how we are being purified and how we are feeling enthusiasm more and more how we are losing taste for mundane sense gratification. So from practical experience, from Sastra, from Shri Prabhupada's instructions, his conversation, his books, we have a strong stand. We are convinced that we are properly situated. And we are convinced that we are receiving the mercy of Shri Prabhupada and Krishna. That means they are pleased with us. So let us continue to do exactly what we're doing. Hare Krishna. Jai Prabhupada.